this video, we will show you how to enter time from the web clock. I have logged in as the employee. The navigation to access the web clock is under me, web clock. The web clock shows you the time from the device this time. So whatever device you're using, whether it's your phone uh, or your computer, it is going to get the time from the device. For this exercise, we are going to change the time of the device so that we can complete the entries. So let's do that. What we will do is we will enter the start time as 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. So I'm going to set the device time to be 9 a.m. So let me turn it off and I can change the date and time. And I'm going to say this is nine o'clock. I will change it. The moment I change and if I go back to the web clock, you can see that the time is showing as 9 a.m. I'm going to clock in. Now, I will change the time to 12 noon so that I can enter the or clock in the meal break. So I have set the time to 12 noon. And change. Going back to the web clock. And I'm going to say meal break. So there will be a one hour meal break, which means that I have to change my clock's time to 1 p.m. Now it's showing 1 p.m. I'm going to say back from break. And below you can see that the events are being tracked. So now I'm going to change it back to 5 p.m., which will be the clock out time. So now it's uh, 5 p.m. current time. I'm going to say clock out. So that completes the time entry from an employee standpoint. Now we will see how to get this time into the time card. So I have logged in now as the timekeeper or somebody with the timekeeper role. The process to bring in those clock in and clock out uh, events is to run a process. So you can run the process either from your time management area or you can go to a scheduled process. So from the navigator, you can go to tools, schedule processes. Click on schedule new process. And from the list, we will search for generate time and the process name is generate time cards from time collection devices select this click ok one more time click ok and you can leave the, the defaults as it is, just click on submit. If you are using it on a daily basis, you can do the scheduler, 
where you can run this process at the end of the day or maybe multiple times in the day most likely end of the day to import the or to create the process or the create the time cards from this time collection devices for now i'm going to go ahead and submit you can click on the refresh button here to see the completion status of the process so we can see that the the process has completed now we will go ahead and review the time card so now we are reviewing the time card of the employee uh, you can see that for this particular period there is an entry so let's go inside this time card and the entry was made for the 26th you can see that the start time of 9 am 12 pm 1 pm to 5 pm and those are recorded as the 2.99 and 3.99 there are ways to make it uh, like a 3 hours and 4 hours but the overall process of entering and transferring time using a web clock this is the process so that concludes the demonstration on how to enter time using the web clock and how to subsequently generate time cards based on those clock ins and clock outs thanks for watching